Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson. We're gonna be talking about number talks and how I use them in my classroom to develop number sense with my students. The only resources that I need is a whiteboard and I like to use one that I can move around that's on wheels, um, a collection of magnetic counters and I like to use different colors and then a large piece of cardboard that I can use to conceal the collection of dots that I'm gonna show the students. So the lesson that I'm going to do today is targeted to students who are working with numbers in the range of 1 to 30, but you can change the collection of dots so that it suits the grade that you're working with. So for example, if you are working with students who understand numbers beyond 30, you might start to group your dots into collections of 10 so that students develop their knowledge of place value. So the first thing that I do is that I cover my collection of dots and I tell students that in a moment I'm going to reveal it to them and I'm not going to reveal it to them for very long. So they're not going to be able to count it by ones and they're going to have to start seeing some chunks of numbers that they can then put together. So I might show it to students for around three to five seconds and then I would conceal it again and I would ask students to then turn to somebody next to them and discuss how many they saw and how they saw it. Then we would come back together as a class and I would maybe ask around two to three students how they saw this collection. So I would record if a student said that they saw six and then they saw another two, I might circle it to show the different chunks that they saw and then record the number sentence together. So once we have recorded um, a couple of students' responses, I then cover up the collection again and I will ask a student to come and record the numeral on the board. And I like to use post-it notes because then if we want to explore things like ordering numbers or identifying the number before and after, we have the flexibility to move this numeral around. So from here, we can now start to explore the number eight and develop our number sense around what this can look like in standard and non-standard partitioning. I might ask the students to go away with eight counters and show me all of the different ways that eight can look. They might draw this in their book, they might take photos of it, um, but we'll just spend some time playing around with the number eight and the different ways that that can look. So then once we have played around with the number eight, I will then use this numeral to explore addition, subtraction, and finding the difference. And what that looks like is that I will tell students that underneath we have eight counters and I want to add three more. And I might write this as a number sentence. Or I might just keep the counters there. And what this does is it allows me to use the counters and the concrete materials as much as the students need to. Or I can tell students that there are eight counters underneath and that I am taking three away. How many would be left? And again, I would get them to turn and talk to their partner about how many they think would be left and how they know. Or we might start to explore finding the difference. So I might tell them that there's eight under there, but I've put some more and now there are 11. How many counters did I add underneath? And we would always use the number sentences to record our thinking so that students develop an understanding of how to write that as a symbol how to communicate it with our words and how that would look as a visual. So bringing together the three critical elements of mathematical understanding. So that's how I use number talks in my classroom and I use this every single day and it can be a short, sharp lesson or you can give students opportunity to explore the number by representing it themselves. So that brings us to the end of this lesson. Remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you can be kept up to date with new lessons that I post. And don't forget to visit the teacher author website where you can check out my books and other printable classroom resources. See you at our next lesson.